Hi there and welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to get your vertical DSLR videos onto Final Cut Pro or any Mac based software. So you can start editing for TikTok, Instagram Reels, uh, YouTube Shorts and so on the right way. Right, let's get into it. Normally when you shoot on a phone like this, in a vertical way, it has an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 and when you pass it onto the computer, it recognizes it. But when you do it this way with a DSLR, it doesn't. It gives you the 16 by 9, no, the 9 by 6 aspect ratio, but it's still rotated. I'll show you on the computer what I mean. So I have here Final Cut Pro. I'm just gonna make a new project. I'm gonna do a vertical mode. And yeah, basically the resolution here is 4K, but in vertical, I'm just gonna accept you get the vertical project. So now let's say I film something with my camera. Um, I'll open it. You can see it here. It's my Insta360 in a vertical mode, but it's in 16 by nine. And when I add it to Final Cut Pro, I get the video, I add it to the timeline, and this happens, it's still horizontal and I want it vertical. My initial reaction is, okay, let's rotate it 90 degrees and scale it. So it's full, but the problem with this is that you scale the video and you've lost some quality. So what I do instead of this is on the computer in the finder, I right click on the file or when I import everything, I actually select all of them so basically in this case I have to well, bear with me I just need to choose all of them right click click on quick actions and say rotate left what this will do in the background as you can see it's rotating the items and basically now you can see it's rotating the items even in the thumbnails when I play these, they have been rotated. Also a tip from my side, if you tip the camera to the left to make your vertical videos, then you will only have to click on the rotate left once. If you do it this way, if you do your videos to the right of the horizontal line, then you'll have to click it, I think, three times. So I normally try and do it like this, so I don't have to do these extra steps afterwards. So. When I import this now, I have the right file. So basically I only have to drag and drop it and I have a vertical file and I haven't lost any quality. Well, I hope you liked the video and I could help in some way. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, bye.